Είναι κανείς εδώ μέσα. Jeffrey Hindle. And exactly three hours ago, I died. Well, that is to say, my body died. But of course, the soul is immortal. It lives forever. Historians tell us that we learn from the past. So while I'm waiting between lives, if I may, I'll review my mistakes. As lives go, I suppose my last one was rather eventful. I was heir to a large mining empire, which I shared with my late but uh, devoted sister. She always accused me of being irresponsible. However, in the end, I think she may have been more foolish than I. Αν ή δεν έχω να μου σκησείς Φύσα βοριά, φύσα νοτιά Μα για δεν έχω να μου λύσει. La 
I'm sorry I'm a little late, but I just, I want to come by and, and say hello anyway, because I'm very happy to be here. I'd like to kiss the patrol. <coughs> and um, I want to sing a little number for you. Good, good stuff. I'm sorry. Right on. Boy, that stuff will make your belch fire. Arrested on the charges of a unemployment, he was sitting in the witness chair. Judge his wife, Paul, that district attorney, she said, You better arrest that brown eyed man somewhere. Flying across the desert. Too many fans. I saw a woman walking across the sand. Walking 30 miles in Russia, Bombay. Um, sit down, love. Sit down. Love. Ella, but yeah, your history affects the league again.
It's Mercury. I've never cheated you. You wish to count the money? Okay. Well, old buddy, that's $173,000 you owe me now. What's that among friends? A small pittance. Among friends, a small pittance. But even so, something could go wrong. Wrong? What could go wrong, Angelo? <laughs> Nothing. We help each other, we... Uh look out for each other, we protect each other, right? Right. Hey, do you work out today? No. Nope. Well, you should. You know, like I always said, the body's a beautiful machine, but you've got to keep it working smooth. You've got to keep it oiled. I mean, it's a great investment. Pays Back off. Back one to twelve. Right. Swim more. Hey, how about tomorrow? You come with me? Yeah, maybe. Good. What the hell are you reading? Knowledge is learning acquired before birth. Wow. Oh. Look, why don't I fix you a drink? No, no, I need to think you seen or no, but can I borrow the book? Yeah, but can I borrow some expenses? You're kidding. Uh, 
Too much. One hand, double or nothing. <laughs> Come on, old buddy. Why don't you read the chapter on virtue? <laughs> Too much. It's agreed, then. I'll do it. Excuse me. A police escort is here for you, Mr. Edwards. Thank you. That's fine. He's waiting outside. Fine. Mr. Edwards, you forgot your case. I'm taking it in for him. It's all right. Well, fine. Yes. Oh, excuse me. It's quite all right. David? Hello, David. Welcome. Sarah, what a nice surprise. How's Nick? Oh, he's fine, thank you. Look, I thought... By the way, I forgot to say congratulations. What? Your engagement. Oh, yes, thank you. Uh, look, I thought I'd drive you to the meeting so that we can talk things out and maybe... Uh... That's a lovely thought, Sarah, but you will appreciate how professionally inadvisable that would be the way things are at the moment. As much as I'd love your charming Mr. company, Edward. I must go. See you later. Can I give you a lift? Oh. What? Why, yes, thank you. Good. What about you? Thank you, but the company car is coming for me. All right. Well... Thank you. Uh, where are you going? Uh, the Mediterranean. At the same hotel. Oh, uh, please, great. Mediterranean. Good morning, Mr. Edwards. Hey, why are you taking me? Down, boy. Down. Stay down. Hey, why are you taking me? Help! 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 Help!
Pretty, huh? Yes, sir, it's a pretty island. You know, Mr. Edwards, like I told you in the car, we just want a little talk with you, want answers to a few questions, okay? I will talk only with the proper authorities. I won't talk with scum like you. You sit down, dummy, and you listen. I don't care what you know about Jeff. I don't care what you know about the Mercury. I don't care if you know about any of those deals. I care about the will, baby. The holograph will. How do you know about that? I can't believe it. You believe it. Old man Hindle was in pain, see? So they spaced him out on morphine, see? So how's he of sound mind, see? How could he write a will, baby? How? Now, if you ain't gonna talk, we don't want to hurt you. But I'll show you. I'll show you what might happen, huh? Ah! Come here! You okay? That didn't hurt so much, did it? Huh? You see, if old man Hindle was alive and kicking, you know what he'd say to you? He'd say, hey, dummy, give old Angela the will. Let him mess it up so the original will still applies. And I'd leave my fortune, all my pretty things to my lovely ones, Jeff and Sarah. Do you see? The law's absolute. If it isn't, it dies. <laughs> Holy God, he don't see. Listen, Mabel, you'll die. You understand that? You will die. Because you're in a very delicate condition. I'll show you. Ah! <coughs> Let me tell you. 173,000 is a lot of bread, and that's what Jeff owes me, and that's what I owe them. It ain't my money, you see? That's sin money. I didn't make it on the wheel. That's syndicate money. Do you understand? Do you see? You're just a low-down, cheap loan shark, and you think you've got it made. <laughs> <laughs> Come up here, you bastard. Loan shark, huh? Cheap, low-down loan shark, huh? Is that what you said? Right on. Good, huh? Loan shark. Το αμάξι χτύπησε στα βράχια, αναποδογύρισε δύο-τρεις φορές και βρέθηκε σε αυτήν εδώ την κατάσταση. Και ο διγός του είναι πρόσωπο. Μάλιστα. Όπου να θα τον βγάλουμε από μέσα. We've only found one body, the drivers. So it could be an accident. Could be. Then where's Edwards? We don't know yet. Obviously, he was not in the car. If he got out of the car before he went over, then he must be around somewhere. You better think about your own future. I mean it. Hmm? <laughs> he just don't want to see. All right. I know you're a smart ass. You know about a lot of things. Well, let me tell you, Mabel, I know about a lot of things, too. And I know about water, right? I know exactly how much water the lungs can take. And Mabel, <laughs> I know just how much your lungs can take by looking at you. Now, I'm gonna give you a little shot of water, and then you're gonna be happy, happy to tell me about how that old piece of paper is. Hmm? Five gallons, fill it up. Well, I'm gonna open up. There we go. Hello, I'm Mr. Wells. Welcome, Mr. Wells. Uh, do you have a reservation for me? Yes, sir. Sometimes you scare me to death. You were supposed to come and see me. You said you were going to come and see me, but you didn't come and see me. Why didn't you come and see me? Because actually I never wanted to come and see you again. You know, you could have some more consideration. I mean, there is so much for me to do, all sorts of problems, the company. And now Edwards is here, and that can only mean troubles for you. Jeff, 
you got to stop spending so much money. I'm telling you, Nicholas is at the end of his rope with you. Understand? For God's sake, would you just listen to me for a minute? I'm trying to help you. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. I know I'm preaching again. So, what did you want? I just wanted to talk to you. Come on, Jeff, get off. I mean, can't a brother and sister say hello now and again, especially when she's getting engaged? I have a gift for you. Come on. Come on, give it to me. I love you. Come on. It's the tail you pin on the donkey, the one you're going to marry. Oh, you're such an ungrateful bastard. <laughs> Contiki Bar and Grill. Yeah, I'll tell Angela I'll come over. Came as fast. Where you been, old buddy? You know I've been. So what's the matter with him? Oh, nothing. He's all right. I tell you something. You know he all ain't right. got it. There's a guy at the hotel that's got it. A guy named Wells. He's got it. What's he doing? This guy's dead. No, he ain't. Dead. Get off him, for God's sake! Get off the guy's what dead. Turn dead? him over. The guy's dead. What are you doing? Drowning him? Oh, Come here, help me, will you? Right, Do something, will you? All I'm telling you, Jeff, you're getting excited over nothing, ain't nothing. I was an expert lifeguard, remember? All I can tell you, though... The guy's dead! You've got to go to the hotel. you got to... What is everybody out. just standing around I here for? I can't go. I'm t you want to buy Get down. Let me tell you something. You've got to go yourself and talk to him. You've got to go to the hotel. I could have handled this. I could have got Nico to do Nico's something. Nico's ain't going to finance you no more. you got to face it, Jeff. And I can't do it. you got to go to the hotel yourself. to the city, but I thought I'd stop by and say hello anyway. Who are you? Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I'm a client. Client of David's, David Edwards, Jeffrey Hendel. You know, heir to the Hendel fortune, wayward gad about town, no sense of responsibility. You've uh, read about me. What can I do for you? Haven't you? I suppose. Well, not entirely true, but then again, it's not entirely fiction either. At night, all cats are gray. Live and let live, that's what I say. Why should I condemn you? Condemn me if you want to. Applaud me if you want to. I don't care. Well, that's not the right attitude, especially not here. We Greeks were forged by philosophy. You should have a philosophy, too. Are you Greek? Mother. Ah, there it is. You know, e even though I wasn't educated here, I I'm very proud of our history, of our ancestry. Look. I would like to see some of your country. I have no time. I know what you're thinking. Yes. What was our country's finest hour? Well, it, it was a night, uh, dark like this one, and the, and the moon was a big white eye. You know, they say in Greece that the moon, like the sea, is a mother symbol, and that she's looking down, protecting her children. Demetrius has been ordered to conquer us. 
No city is impregnable to me, he boasted proudly. As his hands reached out to snap the neck of the city, we refused to let even the greatest obstacle stand in the way of our history. And that's what you're dealing with here, Mr. Wells. The spirit of gods and kings. Good evening, sir. Madam. Good evening. How are you? Fine. Any news of Mr. Edwards yet? No, sir. But perhaps Mr. Wells knows something about him. Mr. Wells? Yes, sir. He brought Mr. Edwards' luggage here. Really? I'd like to go up and see him. Do you want to come? Um, no, darling. You go up. I'd rather wait here. As you wish. Take him out. Wells, what an empty. For next to this degree, Ποιος είναι ο αριθμός δωματίου. 126. Μην μιλήσεις σε κανένα, μόνο στην αστυνομία. could have done this. What makes you think that somebody did this? Well, I assume that's not your job. All you have to do is identify the body, nothing else. Well, I have. It's Edwards. By the way, Nick. Yes? If you have a moment, come by my office. Why? I need your fingerprints. What for? You went in the victim's room. Now we need to know which are your prints and which are the killer's. I'm sticking to oil, natural gas, coal. There's going to be a crisis of energy in the year 2000. <laughs> All right, let's put it on a number, put it on a number. 23 is a hot number, ladies and gentlemen. Round and round, where it goes, no one knows. 18 is an excellent number. A little on the 18, ladies and gentlemen. Have faith, have faith in me. Wheat le chevaux, wheat le chevaux. Change the ball. Mm, where the ball spins, no one knows. 23! Yeah! What have we over here? A hot table, I hope. The scarlet? Red? play all the numbers, that way I never lose. Have you been winning? Actually, I'm losing. Frankly, Scarlet, I don't give a damn. Colonel? Do I hear a ball spinning? Do I hear a ball spinning? 
Someone lose over here? Oh, please, please, don't bother. Please, I insist, don't sign your name. It's a family affair. May I? May I just offer all the chips for my lady? some very mysterious things happen. Why should you be worried, Jeff? Well, it's, uh, Mr. Edwards disappeared, and then Mr. Wells committed suicide. We call it suicide until we have more information. You, you know, I, I demand to know something. Why haven't you interrogated me? I mean, I might have some vital information for you. Well, if you do, why don't you come to my office? It's always open. I'm always on duty. Even now? You see, I'm like a spider. I'm like a flame. I'm waiting for the fly, for the moth to come to me. And you're confident they'll come to you? Or they'll ask me to go over to them. Now, don't forget. You are welcome. Anytime. Close the door, huh? Listen, how many times I gotta tell you to keep away from that goddamn wheel? Okay. Okay? My son? Don't smoke in my office. I ain't got no rye. You got no rye, sweetheart? You got no deal. You stop that clowning around. I worry, and I don't like to worry. Why don't you come see me? What are you doing talking with that dumb cop down there? Well, we're just having a little social intercourse about spiders. I don't give a shit about the sex life of a spider. Did you get it? Huh? Did you bust that thing? No, I went to Wells' room. He didn't have it. And he's dead. He's dead? Wells is dead? You went to his apartment? Went to... The man is dead and you still don't well, have... I didn't kill the but guy! But Jesus Christ, what's wrong with you? You did kill him. I didn't You're kill... You're goddamn insane. You're the guy who kills people. I don't kill anybody. Yeah, that's You're the it. Don't you understand? That's it. God damn it. I want that finger pointing at me. With me, it was an accident. The man drowned. Sure, an accident. What'd he drown of? With a hose in his mouth? Oh, on land? Well, they'll believe that. We blew it. You blew it, not me. Well, this is what we got to do. My people are pushing me. You got to come up with the rest of the money you owe me by tomorrow. As understood, by tomorrow. I don't care how you get it. I don't care where you get it. We're sitting in the middle of the biggest goddamn pile of shit, and you act like... Look, just be logical, will you? Think about it for a moment. Now, Edwards didn't have the will, and Wells didn't have it. Somebody had to have it. Somebody who was uh, trash, uh, somebody uh, alert. Think uh, about pilot, it. Pilot, co-pilot, down no, no. stewardess. Oh, you're kidding me. Stewardess? Sure, a stewardess oh, had it. Oh, come on. He Think wouldn't about it. to a goddamn stewardess. That's who got it. Okay. I believe something. Okay, I'll buy that. Stewardess, right? You think that Wells give it to her, huh? Sure, you just, uh... You just sit there and, uh, eat your sandwich and I'll take care of everything, okay? Hey, you gotta find that goddamn broad. Pick her up. Okay. okay. And, and listen, you take it easy, huh? Right. And you keep away from that goddamn wheel, is that clear? Uh, one hand, double or nothing. You just bought sweetheart. What happened here? Everybody died. Put a little money on the table. A little action here. Francis. Let me know how I come out. Get him 
Nice of you fellas to take me to the toilet by the paper train. Well, what, what do you think Humphrey Bogart would do in a case like this? Do you think you'd ever see a grown man cry? Angelo, what are you doing to me? Come up here. This is you stupid. You have a will learn. I told this you to hurt you more than I No, this is for your own good, buddy. It's go, you're, and the rest of your life, you'll regret this. For your own good, buddy! You okay, old buddy? Get him up. Edwards. Man, I know a million of them. There's Sam and Billy and Mac the Gimp Edwards. Hey, you know those Turks are smart bastards. I mean, they really are. I found Wells strung up in his room. Two suicides doesn't make any sense. Well, here. Make okay. sure the ink doesn't run. What the hell is it? Not to forget about Jeff. <laughs> that looks like 10 grand. I figured you wouldn't settle for that. Okay. How much? Twelve. Fifteen. That's toilet paper, Buster. That ain't enough for a tip from my masseuse. Don't you know that dummy owes me close to two hundred grand? That's three zeros with a two in front. Two hundred thousand? That's right. I can't put all that money together. Who the hell do you think you are? Who the hell do I think I are? Well, I'll tell you. I am Angelo, the son of a bitch. A poor son of a bitch because my daddy didn't have money to send me to school like you rich, educated bastards. You make me puke. You think you can write a check? Buy off anything, a baby, a murder, anything? Huh? Well, this time you're wrong, Buster. You are wrong. I don't give a damn if you own real estate, free halls, the whole goddamn mining land, the whole ocean, everybody in it. I can put you to jail. If you do, there'll be blood. And I ain't kidding. You're strictly Bush, mister. Bush. You blow the whistle on me. And you and sweet little Jeff and Sarah, all three of you ain't worth a good goddamn. You got that? She's a Cocker Spaniel and a Poodle. Some call her Cocker Poo, but I call her Spadoodle. 
Would you mind if I sat down? Of course not. You're a stewardess, aren't you? Yes. How do you know that? Well, it's a small island. You know, I don't understand how they can put you in that hotel the, the airlines use. <laughs> well, here, let me help you. It's American, isn't it? <laughs> Are you American? A mother. <laughs> you know, that place is for $5 a day tourists with only one change of clothes. What you ought to do is stay in my hotel. Your hotel? Going to burn the furniture, warm the place up. Oh, you're crazy. <laughs> Come on. Who were they with on the plane? Don't 
Who were they with on the plane? Huh? Who did they sit with? Or talk Edgar. Edgar. A girl. What was her name? I don't know. Tell me her name. I don't know. Edgar. American girl. Yes. What was her name? Huh? Tell me her name. I don't know. Yes. Tell me her name. Photojournalist, please leave me. A photojournalist? Yeah. What did she do? I don't know. What was her name? Tell me her name. Hello. Laura. Laura. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know. Please leave me. Only part if he's gonna die. Body dies, but the soul's immortal. That's what's important. You know, death isn't as bad as they try and tell you it is. Because the souls live before and it'll live again. The soul never dies. Don't worry. Can you hear me? I'm going to take care of everything. You get dressed. We have to get out of here fast. Thank you. 
Sorry that I had to leave, but it was Jeff again. He was so upset about not being invited to the party. We ended up having a big fight. Shh, I can't talk now. Okay, darling, I'll, I'll uh, speak to you tomorrow morning then. Fine. Okay, have a good night's sleep. Bye bye. Don't tell me it's Jeff again. So what if it was? At this hour? Nikos, you got to leave me alone. I mean, I have so many problems. I... Then tell me your problems. I want to know. I want to help, can't you see? Excuse me, Nick. I hope I'm not disturbing you so late at night. Don't you ever sleep? Nobody's ever caught me at it. Look, this is a bad time. That's okay. I've got bad news. Well, won't you invite me? Sure. Thank you. Hello, Sarah. Well? Oh. Wells didn't hang himself, although they tried to make it look as though he did. But he's been strangled by person or persons unknown. Oh, my God. Which means that Edward's car didn't fall off the road accidentally. Yeah, looks that way. Sure does. Better let you get back to whatever you were doing before I barged in like this. Good night, Sarah. Good night. Nick. Didn't you have something to tell me? Yes, Nikos. That I'm tired and I want to go to sleep. I'll see you in the morning, okay? Come on, dear. I say, sir, forgive me, but I didn't ring for the seconds because I, I didn't receive the old formal oh, glove in the face. On, I thought we should talk. Oh, you mean we're not going to try and kill each other? What a pity. See, that's the trouble. We don't know each other. We don't know each other because we don't like each other. I suppose it's more my fault than yours. Yeah. <laughs> Ten paces. One. You know, two. 
All my life, I worked very hard to get where I am. Four, five... I never had the time to get to know people six, like you. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Like me. What am I, some kind of a freak? <laughs> well, that's not very funny. And certainly not sporting. Do you know that Hemingway used to do this every morning? Just a little bit more pressure right here until... Jeff! <laughs> oh, Mr. Crockett, forgive me. He was the biggest old wood cock you ever saw. Vittles for everybody. We'd have fed the whole regiment. I missed it. Damn, I missed it, Mr. Crockett. Oh, damn. Come back, Woodcock. You know, it might solve things if you got out of the country for a while, straighten up your mind. Sure. You get me out of the way while you enjoy my sister here in peace. Well, it's not going to be the way you think. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, you think she's a marvelous person. Well, she's not. What are you talking about? She wants to control you. She wants you to be her little puppet, to be a prisoner. A slave. Tell me, Jeff. Did you and Sarah have a fight last night? Me and Sarah? I haven't seen her in weeks. What are you talking about? Certainly not last night. Listen, Jeff. Damn it, I didn't have to do that. Sure you did. It was for my own good. You're absolutely right. You know, Jeff... Forget it, okay? Okay. What's going on around here? Huh? <laughs> Come on, old buddy. Don't I know you good? Who are you working with? Come on, you can tell me. I don't know what you're talking about. Sure you do. Listen, old buddy. No way you could kill anybody. No way. Hey, let's go for a spin, okay? Okay. Fresh air. Great, huh? No pollution. How you feel? Tired. I ought to quit that smoking. It's gonna kill you. Hey, old buddy. Ain't we out far enough? Uh-huh. Hey! What do you know about turkey? What kind of turkey? Thanksgiving turkey? Nah, turkey, turkey. That's it. Way over there. That's turkey. You know about Greece, what do you know about turkey? Hey, you know something, old buddy? We ought to just keep going and lose ourselves there in the land of the Turk. Then you wouldn't have to pay me back, and I wouldn't have to pay me back. I wouldn't have to pay my people back. 
We could never come back. Well, who the hell wants to go home again anyway, huh? <laughs> hey, you ought to quit that smoking. It's gonna kill you. Time me. I'm going in. Okay? That's great stuff, Angelo. Dynamite. Take your time. You got all the time in the world. Like I told you, the body's an investment. You take care of it, it'll take care of you. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You can do it. Come on. Sure, I can. Everybody should be able to. They ought to teach you like this in schools, old buddy. Hit the kabong. Do you mind if I put it on automatic pilot? My arms are getting a little tired. Me, I'm doing fine. Just fine, old buddy. I'm clocking you, and the time is running out. Angelo! What'd you say? The markers are down? What? You're right about cigarettes. They're a killer. They'll give you cancer. Did you get to the chapter on the immortality of the soul? Jeff, who the hell is that? That's a pity. Jeff, get him away from there. Jeff! Get that fucker out of there. Bye-bye. You're too well known in this community to do anything unwise, irrational, destructive. Or so I thought. They found your prints on the case, and they are the only prints in the room. So why don't you throw me to jail? Huh. Listen, I don't want to lose my investment in the Hindle companies, and somebody has been siphoning the mercury deposits. Edward was coming to report to me on his findings. And when I saw the case in Wells's room, I, by natural impulse, I opened it. I didn't touch anything else. I'd wonder whom you're protecting if I didn't know you. Sarah is involved, isn't she? Or maybe you suspect Jeff. Either you charge me or let me get out of here. We are old friends. I wouldn't like my friends to worry. So then put my mind to rest. Both murders are totally different in conception and execution. And I don't think that either of the killers is Jeff. If it isn't him, who is it then? Actually, there are two killers and not one. But for the moment, let's assume that we are looking for a mysterious Mr. X. You may go now.
Can you imagine what it was when the gods were here? Well, hello. Let me get a picture of you like that, with your gods beside you. You know, the camera can only record. It can't capture the feeling. What is this? It's lovely. Very old, very ancient coin. Atlantis. Minoyan. I've never seen anything like it. Looks like it should be in a museum. It belongs around your neck. Oh, no, I couldn't take it. No, no I, I insist. I it's a take gift. It. Yes, no. you must. Thank you. But you know, the Indians say you must return a gift with a gift. And I say, a gift must be precious. Is it really from Atlantis? You know, I've dreamt about it all my life. Ever since I was a little boy. It's very real, you know. It does exist. I've always thought that. It's always fascinated me. Ever since I was a little girl. Now, listen to me. We have to go through with it, you understand? Now, I don't want any problems from you. Okay, darling, listen, we'll be free after that, you understand? We can go anywhere you want. Please, look. I'll be there exactly at 11.30. Wait for me. Okay. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to scare you. I, I knocked at the door and, and there wasn't any answer and the maid let me in. I, I, I brought you these books. I, I thought you'd like them, Lou. Please, I, me I didn't mean to scare you, really. It's all right. Would you prefer that, that I wait downstairs? I, I don't mind. No, it's all right. You sure? No. Fix yourself a drink. No, really, it's all right. Go ahead. Stay a while. I'll be out in a minute. You sure? <laughs> sure. Sarah, good evening. Did I startle you? I'm very sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, do you want to come in? But you're about to leave, weren't you? Oh, not really. I was just going to put the car in the garage. You want to talk to Nick? If he's home. No, actually, he's at the meeting. Frankly, I'd really like to talk to you. If you can spare the time, of course. May I offer you a drink? Yes, thank you. That means you're not on duty tonight. Actually, I am. But I guess I can have an orange juice. Let me open the window. No, no, don't do that. You'll, you'll catch a cold uh, after you've taken a shower. God, have you ever seen such a beautiful moon? I have an idea. Why don't I call downstairs and get them to get some food? And we can go across and have a, a picnic and a swim. Wouldn't that be terrific? Mm -hmm. Don't you want to? Sure I do. All right, you call downstairs while I go and get changed. I'll be two minutes. Well, I suppose if we must have the death penalty, I think we should bring back public executions, don't you? I don't think we should have death penalty. I wonder, is everyone capable of being driven to murder? 
I could. What would drive you to murder? Well, let's say if I had a son and somebody tried to hurt him, I would kill. I would absolutely kill. That's fascinating. But you're not a mother. Suppose we take another possibility. Now, you and Jeff are used to having more money than most of us, aren't you? Yes. And you are very privileged people. Suppose suddenly that your sources of income were cut off. Would you kill to get them back? Oh, that's absurd. Let's make it less absurd. Now, suppose that Hindle had made out a new will cutting you and Jeff off without a penny. And suppose that nobody knew about that but the pair of you. We would get an accusation to murder. Now, if you really believe that's the case, why don't you do something about it? Why don't you arrest us? Just stop playing games. Then, if I had that new will in my possession, I'd have the perfect motive to arrest you, wouldn't I? Yeah. So the game is over. Read it. Such a pity, but my marvelous motive has gone up in smoke, hasn't it? Now that Nikos has been given full charge of the Hindle estate, obviously I have no motive to arrest you. Well, you must admit that it was an interesting theory while it lasted. I must be going now. Good night, Sarah. Hello, uh, Miss Ryman, please. Miss Ryman's not in. Thank you. ever walked into a room, a totally unfamiliar room, and know that you've been there before. Do you know once a clairvoyant told me that in one of my earlier lives I was an Indian princess? Well, that's exactly how I feel about Atlantis. I know I've been there. I know I've seen it. I know everything about it. I know I lived in that time. Jeff, nobody knows if Atlantis really exists. I mean, it's just a dream. It's a concept. It's a place. But you need experts. Archaeology. I don't need anybody. I know exactly where it is. I could take you right now. We could leave together. I know I've been there. I know I live there. It's a beautiful dream, Jeff. But it's crazy. And we just can't go off sailing around the world together. I want you to get on the boat with me now. Now, you must end.
sorry. I've had enough of you. I really... Stay away from me. You'll be sorry. Sarah made love to her brother! Sarah made love to her brother! Run now. Jeff. Jeff. They're after us. Jeff, if we don't run now, We'll never be safe.
μπρο στην γρήγορα του Τζέρμι. Μην κάτσε που το πέρα, κάντε γρήγορα. Και εσεί και εσεί κουνηθείτε μπρο. Ειδοποιήστε να έρθει κι ένα στενοφόρο. Fire a warning shot. Don't, don't shoot. Please. Please tell him not to shoot. I'll go up. I'll talk to him. I'll bring him down. I promise I can talk to him. Please, please let me go up there. Please. All right, I'll give you five minutes. But only five minutes. And then I'll come and get you. Both. Block all exits from the walls, hurry.
I want you to take the wheel. I'll go below and fix provisions for the crew. Hmm? All right? Okay, get in there. You take the wheel, and I'll be below deck. Mr. Christian, prepare the royal champagne. Jack. Do you really think we'll be free and we can do anything we want and go anywhere? I don't want to hear one negative thought. Not one negative thought out of you. I am the captain of the boat, and the captain's word is law. Champagne, my dumb champagne. You know, no one's ever liked my Cary Grant impression. Hello, my dolly. If I only had the wings of a bird, we'd fly away. Oh, that is the worst champagne I have ever tasted. <laughs> Three ninety nine BC, Socrates. I prefer to bathe myself rather than have the women wash me when I'm dead. Mm. Oh. They wouldn't let us live the way we wanted to, but they can't tell us how to die. Good to the last drop. Hemlock. You are joking. Oh, don't worry, there's none in yours. You know, it's the funniest thing. My feet are supposed to be numb, and then it moves up the body into the legs, and I don't feel, I don't feel a thing. It's not, it's not numb. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to fix this a little bit more shame. I'll spike by... I want you to hold me tight. Hold me tight. I want you to listen to me because everything's going to work out all right. Don't you understand? You'll take the little boat and you'll go back and you'll bring it all on your mad brother. Don't you understand? Jim. I can't take it. It is the weirdest feeling I have. Ever felt in my life. I get my legs are absolutely numb, and and my heart and my heart is is beating just it's beating as fast as. <laughs> Ειδοποίησε το λιμεναρχείο γρήγορα. It's only a plastic boat in a great big bathtub. I can pull the plug anytime I want. Come, let's have a cup of Greek coffee now. Let's go. All I want to do now is get drunk. Before and will live again. A heartbeat in time. 